when you're in an emotional jail of fear, the windows, the doors, everything is open, but you never take that walk to leave it. You allow the fear to paralyze you. But one thing about fear and the thing that I've learned is that we're always waiting for the fear to go away. Like, I'm going to wait until I feel courageous. But that's never going to happen. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> fear is not going to go away. One of the ways you can work with fear is acknowledge it. Say yes. I'm quite frightened. And just do the action anyway. So if you wanted to go dive off a cliff, I'm not saying that you should. But if you're afraid to say yes, I'm afraid to dive off this cliff, but I'm still going to do it. So fear is that's what courage really is, is taking action, even though you're afraid. And that is what I call truly being courageous. It's the big butts used with answer those. The big butts, those big butts will help you craft the ideal lifestyle you want because everyone has, everyone is unique and what is success for you may look like torture for me and vice versa. So one of the things we do is we take responsibility, we accept where we are, and we take time to figure out what it is we want. Instead of having someone tell us, you should do this, you should do that, you should do this. It's like, but that's torture for me. So you figure out what you want, and then you use the steps. You know, you get over your fears, get over that BS, that belief system that holds you back. Um, create a new self-image, the one that no one sees. Because we all wear a mask. We wear this mask for the world. And we portray this image that we're this or we're that or how we want the world to see us. But if that image inside doesn't match up to the one outside, there's always going to be conflict. Okay. So those are the things that hold you back. All right.